Good morning, y'all. It is a little, it's not super early, but it feels early to me because I am tired. I'm trying to get dressed for the day and be, my goal is always to just like be up, dressed and done with it. I don't wanna have to come back in here and do stuff later um, because I have much to do today. It's an exciting day. I guess that's uh, in the eye of the beholder because this could end up being a very expensive and sad day too. Um, <clears throat> today's vlog is sponsored by Cricut and uh, we're gonna get to that later. I cannot wait to share with you guys my Cricut projects. Uh, basically, I've gotta go drop my car off at the shop this morning to figure out what the heck is going on with that uh, with the break with the brakes. You know, I told you guys in a previous vlog that I don't think it's actually the brakes. Uh, I think it's something else, which will likely be far more expensive. Um, so just waiting for that. So I gotta go take my car, drop that off, run to Target, grab a couple things. I rearranged the cabin and I really love it. Uh, I, I like it a lot. And I think we're finally ready to start decorating for Christmas. I spent a few hours the other day to uh, wash the cars and then um, scrub like all of our like white balcony areas for the porches and stuff. They've been in like sort of the side of the house. It's, I think it's because of the humidity and the rain and everything, but it's getting like, you know, some like algae mold and then like, I don't know, just looking real scummy, okay, real scummy. And the upstairs porch that is sort of that like sun porch flat area, um, all the railing that goes around there where I've strung Christmas lights, <laughs> I put them up last year and never took them down. And um, there's there was just so much like algae and stuff. And I was like, I cannot turn those Christmas lights on in good conscience, knowing that all I'm doing is illuminating the ick and got this whole like cleaner system thing and was just up there scrubbing away Cinderella style. And uh, I didn't realize that it's actually like a bleach. So the jeans that I was wearing got bleach on the front, which, you know, they kind of just look like you paid for them to look like that, but I did oh, not. Hello. So Monsieur Braniff and I are running to drop my car off. Um, but all of that to say that I got the outdoor stuff done. So and he's been working on stuff as well, so I feel like we're finally ready to start the Christmas decorations. It should be good. Yeah. So we still gotta like go to storage and get them all and all that kind of stuff. But hmm. my favorite time of the year. Your favorite time. It's the most wonderful time of the year. You don't have to do any of the decorating. You just don't like having to haul the boxes oh, back and forth. Yeah, we got a lot. No one too. can see your face. You it's look like the headless thing. horseman. Okay. All right. Let us run. All right. We're back from running errands. <laughs> hey, Oliver, it's fine. Hey, You're fine, boots. dude. Hey, booty boots. Party. Our animal food delivery order is here. We got all the stuff. We shall see. They said they'd call in a little bit. Well, once they evaluate the car, they'll call. So let's all cross our fingers. My fingers are crossed holding my coffee that it's not anything too insane. <sighs> All right, well, yesterday got completely off track. Uh, so we're picking back up the vlog again today. It's amazing how quickly a suntan goes away. I felt like I was, for me, not for the average person, but for me, I was very tan this summer. And now I have gone like straight back into <laughs> pasty so fast. My hands look like Casper hands. Anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, see, I distracted myself, man. Sierra and I have a few errands to run. No one called about my car yesterday. I dropped it off yesterday morning and I did not hear anything all day. So that's not a good sign because I know they were gonna look at it in the morning. So what that means is there's probably something seriously wrong with it. Or I suppose it could always mean that they still hadn't yet found anything, but that's a problem too because there's obviously something wrong. So I'm just gonna take a deep breath and not stress about that at this exact moment. We've got to go, so we have a big crack in the windshield of the Envy, I'll show you guys that. Um, Shelby did that. Um, I'll explain it when we get in the car. Uh, it was not on, on purpose or anything like that. So we're driving to take the car to get an estimate on getting the windshield, either if it's a crack they can fix or if they have to replace the whole windshield. I have a feeling they're gonna have to replace the whole windshield because it's a pretty big crack. Um, and then I placed uh, my Sephora order. By the time y'all see this video, they do like these annual events. It's just tiered, 20, 15, 10% off, depending on what tier you are um, with Sephora. So I placed an order and then uh, to pick it up at the Sephora store. So we're gonna go pick up 
that. I'm putting up a couple videos on my personal channel sharing some recommendations from Sephora because they have some really great gift sets for Christmas and stuff like that. So that's over on my personal channel. I'm gonna pick back up the vlog. Yesterday just got a little crazy. Let us go. I'm out in my office. I had to bring in this little, <laughs> that's the fireplace insert from my fireplace that used to be in my old office now is in the bedroom and that's just the insert that goes in it because it's freezing out here and we still have yet to get the mini split unit installed so it's been like a 40 <coughs> in like the 40s 40 degrees so it's been chilly i just have to show you okay here my newest obsession do you see everything over there oh boy so as i mentioned at the beginning of this vlog today's vlog is sponsored by cricut I want to tell you something before I show you the projects I've done so far. I just want to say very, very, very quickly that y'all know if you've been around for any amount of time that I am not a naturally crafty person, okay? The joke in our family is that Christopher is actually the crafty one, not me. So if I can use this machine, anyone can use this machine. Let me show you guys a few of the things that I have made. Look at this. Okay. I got a just a baseball shirt from the store uh, using their smart iron-on materials. Can y'all see that? It says the real BB-8. Isn't that so cute? It's got the little BB-8 guy from Star Wars. How adorable. I'm working on making personalized coffee cups as Christmas presents. Y'all, if you are like me and you have run out of ideas of what to buy someone at the store, you've bought everyone soft blankets, you've bought everyone candles, you've done all the things, and you can make them something personalized, it's it's so good. I have a sneaking suspicion that y'all are gonna be seeing way more of this Cricut machine and all the, the things over the coming months because my brain is just reeling with ideas of stuff I wanna do with it. But look at how beautiful is this with the holographic. Um, this is the Smart Vinyl. Sorry if you see flies, okay? There's a, a, a fair number of flies in here and I'm having a hard time getting them out right now. But look at this. So this is using the vinyl from Cricut, but it is not a permanent vinyl. So when I am done, when the holidays are over, I'll be able to just peel that off and take it down. But I can decorate my chalkboard with it. How awesome is that? So this is my Cricut Explore 3 machine. It's honestly not nearly as intimidating as you might think. The Cricut machines can make all kinds of crafting related projects. Honestly, the sky is the limit. When you start diving into how many different things they can do, you will be shocked. However, do not be intimidated or overwhelmed because if you're like me and you're a beginner, they're very easy to use and just start out with some very basic things like printing something personalized on a shirt, personalizing a coffee cup, or like I did here, um, decorating my chalkboard, Christmas decorations that you could make. There's so many simple, easy things that you can do with your Cricut machine. And it cuts hundreds of different materials, everything from vinyl to leather. And then of course, obviously, it's gonna cut out all kinds of different designs that, um, that you can create. The sky is the limit. So your Cricut machine comes with a free software for desktop and mobile. It's called the Design Space. That's where you have access to tons of fonts and various uh, graphics and just project ideas. You create them within Design Space and then send them to the machine for cutting. So obviously for me, like I said, I'm working on trying to create some really individualized Christmas presents, things that are different, that aren't just you know the, the regular things that I feel like I get people every year. I'm looking to make some unique personalized gifts. So like I said, I have the Cricut Explore 3 machine and I also have the Easy Press 2. So the Easy Press is what I used for heat pressing the design onto Benjamin's shirt. First of all, this would make a fantastic Christmas gift. I'm gonna leave it linked down below in the description box. Even if you're not a crafty person, but you're like, oh man, I'd love to be able to make that or do that or make my own presents or, or make something for an Etsy shop or whatever you wanna do, you don't have to get overwhelmed because it really is very simple and easy to use. Do not be intimidated by all of the things it can do or all of the products that you see. You could start with something really simple like the Smart Iron-On or the Smart Vinyl start with a small project. I promise you'll get the hang of it. If I can get the hang of it, you can get the hang of it. I love this Cricut machine. I'm kind of obsessed with it and I'm gonna have to really reel myself in from being out here all the time making things. And I feel like around here, everyone should know if you sit still for more than 10 seconds, I'm gonna Cricut you. I've made Cricut into a verb now in my house. It's 
I'm cricketing. I'm cricketing things. I'm going to cricket you. Check the description box if you guys are interested in checking out a cricket machine for yourself. I promise you will not be disappointed. It's not like I need another hobby, but at least this one is productive and useful. All right, so we are in the car. I'm hoping y'all can see the crack there. So Shelby was putting her feet up here and just resting in the car while CR went inside. I think it was like tractor supply or something. And she went to like lean back and like push herself back and where her feet pushed on this, which I mean, yes, you should not have your feet up there like that, but I feel like we all did that as a kid. I know I did. So anyways, it cracked. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're off to get an estimate on getting that fixed. Did you have fun at the mall today? Did you go to Build-A-Bear? That was our first, I realized that we used to, <laughs> when Kennedy and Shelby were little, we used to go up to what we called the Pony Mall <laughs> um, all the time and they would ride the carousel and they'd go, want to go and Build-A-Bear and it's just not something that, I don't know, we just, we don't really like go to the mall all that often anymore. Hi. So anyways, we were in the mall and uh, I saw Build-A-Bear and I was like, oh, I gotta take them in there. They've never, are you trying to give everybody a fist? Um, did you get a dinosaur? <laughs> dinosaur. Yes, honey. Your teeth? What? There's a piece of popcorn in. Oh, I'll get a floss. There's popcorn in her stuck in her teeth. So I gotta go get floss. Uh, no. Hi. Mommy, get her fresh oh. wet. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll go get your toothbrush, okay? Anyway, so Benny got a dinosaur, Millie got a dragon, and I got a rainbow bear. Yeah, did you have fun? Benny, Benny! Benny, Benny! Benny, Benny! Benny, Benny! Hello, Rose! How are you? Your tooth is loose? Come here, let me see. Which tooth? Yeah. It is. Is that? Yep. Got another loose tooth. Okay. Oh yeah. Is that your car sort of thing? Your magnetiles car? That my children are obsessed with these magnetiles. All of my children love them. If you need to find a Christmas gift for um, a child of yours, or a grandchild, or a niece, or nephew, or a friend's kid, or something like that, magnetiles. It's the one thing that. You don't even have to buy the Magnetiles brand. There's other brands, and we just keep a like a bin, a seagrass basket, full of Magnetiles, and um, they love them. They're obsessed with them. They play with them all the time. What's wrong, Azzy? Why are you making sad puppy face? Why are you making sad puppy face? 
Why is that puppy face? Stella wants in. If we don't stay on top of laundry every single day, then this is what happens when we have to cram it all in at once. I just thought I would show you guys. I also got um, this plain rug from Target so that I can uh, use the Cricut machine to make a custom Christmas rug. And then um, I also picked up some, I also picked up some sweatsuits for the twins. I'm gonna make them something. And then I got like a wooden plaque to make a Christmas decoration. So I have many more plans for my Cricut machine, uh, but I just can't decide what I wanna put on these yet. So if you guys have any ideas, leave them for me down below in the comments. I'm thinking something wintry, not so much Christmas, but maybe just like wintry, like snowflakes or something. I'm not sure, I have to decide. Oh yeah, and while we're out here, I was gonna show you guys how I kind of rearranged the office. Now don't be too, too judgmental, actually, let me just tidy it up a little bit and then I'll show you because there's no point in, t in doing that when it's messy. Just give me one second. One second. Hold, please. <clears throat> it's obviously not perfectly clean right now. It's a bit of a mess, but I really feel like, so the sofa just was not getting used. It was just taking up space. I really needed a spot for that file cabinet to go because that is useful to me. So I did end up just kind of switching things around. Plus I don't really use those chairs at this table because the kids usually sit at the benches and I just wheel over my computer chair. So it's good that they're there now because I still wanted a, a sitting place for if someone's you know coming in to chat or whatever, come sit down right there. Um, but I've still got to organize and put things away, but uh, I slid this down a little bit so I could put my printer there and I took down that big calendar because I just don't use it there. Whoa, because I just don't use it. Um, and I've got other stuff I want to hang on the wall. So I've got to get some frames and I just kind of want to do something cool there. I'm going to hang my bow up there. Um, so yeah, I just kind of, I mean, it's obviously not like a drastic change. The other thing is, is that without a sofa here, I took, this was the rug that was in front of the sofa. I moved it over here and took out the other one. Uh, I just didn't feel like I needed two rugs in here it was a bit much. And I guess one of the other bigger differences that you'll see is that I hung those green curtains. So those are like room darkening curtains. Sometimes when I'm filming in here, depending on where the light's coming in, the sheer curtains just don't do it for them. Don't, don't do what they're supposed to do in terms of blocking light. So sometimes I need to manipulate the light in here a little bit more. So um, I just hung those green curtains. I got those from Amazon, I believe. I'll link everything. Um, from this room because people ask often so I'll link that stuff but yeah so I mean still more to go I got to take that stuff out to the garage for storage and some homeschool books and then I'm uh, looking for a good way to store my Cricut materials as well so I think I'm going to go look at Michael's or something uh, but I need some place to store all my vinyls and stuff and then obviously that doesn't stay here nor does the garbage bag so that kind of really frees up that whole space so it just feels a lot bigger in here and a lot more open despite the fact that it does not look like it on this camera right now you're just gonna have to take my word for it okay okay um, I also picked up my car while we were out they called and I guess it's good news and not good news so the good news is is that it only costs 50 bucks and they just said there was a leaky something on the back right. I don't remember, some kind of leaky valve that they had to fix. And um, some something that was a little bit leaky in the front right that they put some like caulk beading stuff on. But that was it. <laughs> they couldn't get it to make any noise. They couldn't figure out what was anything else wrong with it beyond that. So I don't know if I should just thank my lucky stars that maybe the leaking valve was causing the I mean. I don't know, but to me, a car doesn't just make that noise and then like, oh, poof, it's nothing, no big deal. I just, I have a feeling that there is something wrong. I'm, I'm just gonna right now for today, I'm just gonna choose to be grateful that it wasn't terrible, that it wasn't super expensive and that um, it's supposedly fixed. We shall see. I have to drive back to Charlotte next week and that's what worries me is that I'm gonna be on the road for two hours and I'm gonna be somewhere between here and Charlotte and it's gonna do that and break down and there's some pretty scurry places between here and Charlotte when you get into the the backwoods, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm a little bit scared about that, but <clears throat> we'll see, we'll see. Bye. Let's play.
Christmas carol.